and welcome to another production by Mobile Fire TV. I'm Hazel and this is the Outworld Devourer Guide written by Hades. Outworld Devourer is a ranged intelligence carry who is able to deal huge amounts of pure damage, taking down its enemies easy and fast in just a few hits. Today we're going to focus on the playstyle and build that is used in competitive matches. Outworld Devourer recently became a popular pick in professional matches after its successful use by Quantic Gaming. Arcane Orb is Outworld Devourer's first skill. When activated, it adds extra pure damage to his attacks based on his remaining mana pool. It deals even more extra damage to summoned units and illusions. Outworld Devourer's second skill is Astral Imprisonment. This skill is what enables him to dominate mid lane and disrupt enemies. It traps enemies into an Astral Prison, disabling them and making them invulnerable. When it is cast on the enemy hero, it steals intelligence and gives it to Outworld Devourer. Essence Aura is his third skill. It's an aura that gives him and nearby allies a chance to get a percentage of mana back when casting a spell. Outworld Devourer also receives a bonus to his mana pool. And finally, his ultimate is Sanity's Eclipse. It deals damage based on Outworld Devourer's intelligence and the target's hit intelligence. If the unit hit has more intelligence than Outworld Devourer, Sanity's Eclipse will have no effect. If the unit's intelligence difference is under a threshold, it will lose 75% of his mana. If the unit's intelligence is lower than Devourer's, it will receive damage. The more intelligence Devourer has, and the lesser the enemy has, the more damage Sanity's Eclipse will deal. The enemies trapped in Astral Imprisonment will also get hit. Start out with a point in Astral Imprisonment, since it's a skill that will help you dominate mid lane, and it's also the single useful skill you can get early. Continue by levelling up Essence Aura. You want to max out Astral Imprisonment and Essence Aura till level 9. With the Imprisonment, you'll keep your opponent out of mana and you'll get bonus damage from the stolen intelligence that will help you last hit easier. And Essence Aura will help you by giving you mana back when it triggers. Starting with level 10, you're going to skill Arcane Orb. You can auto cast it since you're going to get mana back when Essence Aura triggers. Max it out to level 14 and, as always, level up your ultimate at level 6, 11 and 16. After everything's maxed out, continue by levelling up your stats. Start out with a Null Talisman and a Tango. The Null Talisman will help you with some stats and damage to ease your last hitting. And the regeneration from Tango will allow you to stay on lane more. The item you want to get first is Tranquil Boots, because they're cheap and the heal is very useful for you. Also, when you activate Tranquil Boots, it can trigger Essence Aura and give you mana back. The next item you want to get as fast as possible is Mechanism. This item will help you and your team survive more in fights, especially if you get it early. When you start building out Mechanism, make sure to start out with the Buckle Up, because there's a chance when you activate it that Essence Aura will trigger. Moving on, you'll want to get some items that will help you take down your enemies faster. A 4 star will provide you with some extra intelligence and also mobility. It will help you with chasing and also increase your damage. The next item you're going to start building depends on your game. If you're having issues surviving in fights because you get disabled, pick up a Black King Bar. If you need more damage and an extra disable, a Scythe device will be a great addition for you and your team. By late game, you should already have your Black King Bar or Scythe Advise, so you can start building your next item. If you need even more damage and durability, pick up a Shiva's Guard, which will also give you a nice aura and active that will slow your enemy's movement and attack speed. If you need more attack speed and damage, Orchid Malevolence will be a great pickup, which will also provide you with a silence. Since your ultimate deals a huge amount of damage, you can even pick up a Refresher's Orb. Two ultimates are better than one and you won't have mana problems when trying to cast them. You're going to go on mid lane. Your objective is to get all the farm you can and deny your enemy. Since you're going to spam after imprisonment on your opponent, you'll have extra damage from the intelligence stolen and your enemy won't have enough mana to cast any spell. Use that extra damage to kill all those creeps. Don't allow your enemy to get experience or gold. In mid game, since you'll have your mechanism, stay with your team, push towers, destroy lanes. You don't have to go back since you'll heal them and they'll restore their mana because of your essence aura. Use this in your advantage and get as many towers as possible and set up ganks on lonely enemy heroes. In late game, you don't want to miss a fight. Remember that you can initiate with your Astral Imprisonment. It keeps an enemy hero out of battle for 4 seconds. 
Also, since the enemies will probably have magic immunity from their Black King bars, you'll have a problem killing those, so try focusing on the squishy supports that weren't able to purchase immunity. Try to steal as much intelligence as you can using your Astral Imprisonment, so when the fight comes, your Sanity Eclipse will deal as much damage as possible. Try hitting everyone with your ultimate, and also make sure you do it before they have a chance to activate their magic immunity items. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe. If you want to see a guide for a specific hero, let us know. Mobifier TV is sponsored by PDP Gaming Hardware.